So in this lesson, we're going to pick up where we left off from our last week's lesson, which is liquidity run versus liquidity sweep. But this is going to be the advanced version. As you can see here, you have your swing. And in this lesson, we're going to figure out if price is going to continue, which is a liquidity run or reverse and form your purge. Going through our recap, as a basic rule of thumb, if we have a bullish trend and you're targeting a bull swing, which is your swing high, you're looking for a liquidity run. If you're in a bullish trend and you're targeting your swing low, you're looking for a sweep, which is your purge. As you can see, we are in a downtrend. Let's say we're focusing on this swing which would be your macro swing low. Take a look at the context. Price came to this area and rejected from our extreme level. So now we know if price does come back and attacks our swing, it will more than likely be a continuation. Now again, not every time, but majority of the time. Before you proceed, please make sure you like the video and leave a comment. This video is completely unmonetized. So let's take a look at this example. So what do we have here? We have a supply and demand structure bearish cycle. So price is breaking structure and coming back inside of the range, breaking structure and coming back inside of the range to extreme supply. So that's what we can see here and we can expect price to continue mirroring this move. And we will talk about mirroring in a second. But what we have here is let's mark up our range. So we have our swing high and our previous swing low that was broken. So what does that mean? That means price broke this structure and now is going to retrace back inside of the range to our extreme supply. So what we're gonna do now is, let's mark our supply. Let's mark our extreme supply. And for the settings again, one more time, just because a lot of people ask is 0 0.25, That's it. It's simply broken into quarters. Your top quarter and your bottom corner are your extremes. So now let's go on a lower time frame and look at how price reacts. So now, so now we're on the one hour. So now we have a reaction and price is rejecting. So now you have a swing low and a swing high. Let's make this a little bit lighter. So now you're in your extreme zone and you have your swing high and swing low. Let's make both of them black. You have your swing low and your swing high. So we know on the macro, we are in a bearish cycle. So we're strictly looking at this swing low. So let's say price gets down here. What do we expect? We expect price to continue, right? Because we're going alongside with our macro cycle, which is bearish. Now, if price comes up here, we're looking for a stop hunt for price to continue lower. So either way, we are going bearish. So now, how can we confirm this? So what you do now is you pull out your fib again on the micro and you mark your extreme demand. This is our extreme demand. So what can we anticipate here? If price comes up here and gives us a slight reaction or even shows us that he wants to react from this level, if price now does come down here, then we can expect a continuation. But if let's say price completely ignores this level and goes strictly down, now you can expect a stop hunt for price to maybe reach for a better level to continue the bearish trend. That's what we're gonna pay attention to. This is advanced liquidity. Okay, so you had a reaction. You had two reactions. These are our reactions, showing us that there is buying pressure in this area. So now, if price does get below this level, you're looking for a 
trade back down to the extreme of this current range. And this could be your first TP and your second TP could be all the way down here below your macro swing right here. It could be right here. And our first TP is hit. Let's see if our second TP can be hit. And our second TP is hit. And now you can expect the exact same cycle. Why can you expect the exact same cycle? Because if we go back to your higher time frames, you can see that price now can break the range, come back to the extreme, break the range, come back inside of the extreme, and so on, so on, until they change the profile. So let's talk about the origin of a swing. Not every swing is the same. As you can see here, we're in an uptrend. Look what happened here. If you look at this swing, what did this swing do? Always look to the left. This swing took out a previous swing. And not only that, that swing right there, this previous swing, forced a move that took out the previous low, which as you can see right here. So this is an external to external. And when you see a setup like this, you can expect a continuation, which would be your liquidity run. Keep in mind, everything mentioned so far is contingent upon your trend. If it's a bullish trend or a bearish trend, and you always want to be in line with the trend. Let's take a look at this example. So what do you have here? You have a sweep on one side. And you have a sweep on the other side. So this is your external to external cleanup. So when price does break below this level. When price does break below this level right here, which was your sweep you're looking for price to continue lower. So as a bonus, let's quickly talk about the mirroring effect, which I did cover in great detail on my website. So what you have here, let's say we start off from right here. Actually, let's, so you had your swing high and your swing low. So look what happened. Price broke structure, came back inside of the range, did not come back deeply inside the range, just up to the 50% point up to the 50% mark, which is your fair price, and expanded. Same here, price came up to the 50% and you're anticipating an expansion. Why? Because you are mirroring previous price action. You're looking at the way price expanded and it looks exactly identical. So the first clue here is look at this retracement. It did not go deep and it expanded with no resistance. Your no resistance is your second clue. And you can see the no resistance right here to the bull side as well. So you had no resistance here and you had no resistance here. So you can anticipate for there to be no resistance right here. That's your first clue. And your second clue is this retracement. The fact that price is not retracing deep. Price is just retracing inside of the range to quickly expand out. Just retracing inside of the range to go back out. As you can see, they're expanding at the same point. So if price does cross this level, you can anticipate a continuation, which is your liquidity run. Let's look at our resistance point. We have a level right here. you can anticipate price to continue until this level.
and you reach your take profit. And same thing happened. If you remove this, you can see that there was no resistance on your bull run. You had no resistance here, no resistance here, and you had no resistance here. And if you look at this portion, price is identical. You can see right here, price came back inside of this previous range. Price came back inside of this previous range, did not retrace really deep and expanded. And if you can take a look here, same thing happened in the range prior to this one. You had a swing low and a swing high. Price broke structure, did not retrace deep inside of the range, did not go to the extreme levels and expanded with no resistance. These are two identical setup, which is your mirroring effect. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you leave a comment. What video do you guys want next?